Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com and today I want to lift the secret how you can do some simple choking in Ableton Live 11. So what is a cymbal choke? Cymbal choke means you are playing a cymbal sound and then you grab the side outside of your e-pad and you can mute the ringing cymbal sample. So every other week I get asked by people in the Ableton Drama Facebook group or by email, how can I make this work? Uh, it's working in standalone versions of uh, plugins like uh, Stephen Slade drums or um, Superior Drama or other tune track stuff or addictive drums. But why isn't it working if I use Ableton Live and host those plugins inside? So there is a reason for that. Um, only since Ableton Live version 11, um, Ableton Live is able to process this message which is coming from your drum module when you're grabbing your um, cymbal pad. This message is called polyphonic key pressure or polyphonic aftertouch. And Ableton announced Ableton Live 11 and everyone was like, yeah, cool, we're gonna be able to do this now with uh, our drum plugins and with our electronic drum kits. But it didn't work. So I found out how you can make this work because it needs to be applied in a certain way. So the secret here is um, drum modules are sending a note on when you hit the symbol and then sending a note off after a certain set preset time. The time is set in your drum module and is, ca is, is called is called gate time. So the Ableton Live will only accept this match message which, which is called polyphonic key pressure if it comes before the note off. So for this you need to change the gate time inside your drum module. You might be confused already like what is key pressure, what is gate time etc. So I understand this because it's not that accessible, it's not that easy to understand and you just want to play drums. So I wrote a guide, a PDF guide where you can check and have a checklist in there and can check if that's possible with your e-drums and with the plugins you are using. So you can get this PDF guide for free or pay what you want. Always donations are always highly appreciated, of course. So one more thing, if you're not using um, any drum plugins here, if you just want to apply this to Ableton Live sounds, because Ableton Live has some really nice acoustic sampled drum kits uh, in the stock, in the core library as well. For this, I created uh, five presets for the five acoustic kits, which are in the stock library. You have them already if you have Ableton Live 11. So I created a plugin and presets for that. For that, to make use of that, you would need Max for Life, which is included only in the sweet version. It can be bought as an add-on to Ableton Live standard as well. Okay, you can get the guide, this side or this side, um, for free, and you can get the presets for a little something. Um, just follow the links in the video description below and uh, have fun drumming. Yes!